Still messing around with that book, huh? Raz. That your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. It's nothing that exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? I think it's good to keep a record of things, that's all. <laughs> Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. And I guess it's a habit I picked up from... you know... him. You know, if you're that interested, we could buy a diary for you. Like hell. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, like I'm some goddamn illiterate? No, no, just... Well, I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing them. Oh, you son of a... I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry, they're just messing around. I don't think there's any actual offense. Oh, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. You've known them much longer than I have. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? What, Raz and Claude? Uh, yes. I mean, we played together when we were kids, but Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then... Uh, anyway, I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy-buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude of all people. Oh... That actually explains a lot. Well, it lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, huh? If things did change between them, it was probably thanks to an incident back in training. What happened? 